Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this How is you, Henry? Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> oh man, I think we have some stolen stuff. There's a yellow-green hose, there's a Sunday dress. That's gonna have to do. <laughs> Let's talk about the price. Well... We can try it. You could do a thousand. What about this? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Uh-huh. I mean, let's try it. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. There we go. A thousand even. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I... Oh, 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 whoop. Whoop. Here we go. Alright, slight near. Stay there, buddy. I may need you if we have to make a quick getaway. Alright. Yep, nothing in here. I can't go out this way. What about this here? I have a feeling that this is just... Oh, no, this is a house of some sort. Is this where the artisan lives while the actual guy lives elsewhere? I mean, nobody's actually in here right now. He could very well be at the pub or something still, I imagine. Nah. Nothing worthwhile there. Okay. Very hard locks all, though. There we go. Oh, 1.1k Groshen. I'll accept that. I wonder if that adjusts uh, how much he has available to trade with. Oh, no. Bad move. More or less over here. Whoa, that was a rough one. Okay, this sort of stuff has to weigh quite a bit less. This sort of stuff, weapons, I've got to weigh less than armor. Okay, so this is troubling. There's two folk there, nobody over here. We can just walk straight in to here. Is this the guard? I feel like this is the shop guard. That's a lady over there. Townswoman. Okay, so I don't want the shop guard to wake up. Our noise should be such that we have no worries here. Artisan. So this has got to be the actual swordsmith. Okay, I'm not going to hold down F this time. Okay. He's still asleep. Uh, let's go back in here and get the trunk key. See what it unlocks. It's got to have the Queen of Sheba sword shard somewhere. Aha! There we go. Okay. That is what we were after, so let's get out of here. Okay. How's it going, guard? Well done, sir. Well done. Oh, I can Stop breathe now. I'll just give you a quick search. I don't think yeah. so. Oh no. Let's get out of here. I could have probably talked my way out of it, and that's probably what I should have done. Yeah, because now... 
now I'm wanted. But I can still probably talk my way out of it, just in case I can't. I might as well have my stuff stored instead of on me. Or my horse. So let's just store away the stolen goods. I don't think the Queen of Sheba sword piece counts. I noticed when I was editing a video too that there is quite a bit of Eyebright in Sasau. And so the next time we head over to Sasau, I will try to pick up a bunch of it and uh, get that all taken care of. Are these guys going to care about us being wanted? They don't seem to. It's probably just going to be the one guy who originally thought to accost us. I have a torch out now and everything. Here he comes. Stop for a bit. I'll just give you a quick search. Okay. What? <laughs> Orders of his lordship. Sure, sure. Yeah, Sir Radzig wants me to be searched, I'm sure. Uh, wow, surprisingly 17 to 6. We have intimidation against him. That's the only thing we're beating him on. What's that to do with me? Don't you know who I am? I'm sorry. You can go ahead. That's right. That's right. I'm still wanted, though. Ho ho ho! Okay. That's enough of that. I'm gonna have to talk to this Betty one of these days. Is this a private area at night? It's not. Alright, we got it. So at least we have that much for us right now. Oh, there you are. Okay, let's head in to Perkstein. Come on, get out of the way, buddy. You know who I am? Pretty sure it's the top floor that we need to get to. Yeah, because I think Radzig is the one that we're going to need to talk to, and he's in uh, this room. Wow, surprisingly with no guard out front this time. It's very surprising. Oh, wow. Can't give me an automatic lockpick here, right next to Red Zig's head. 55 Groshen, you kidding me? St. Michael's sword, I'll take that. Sure. Brown hose, sure. Is he going to be walking around in his pajamas? I don't think so. Okay, we haven't read either of these, so we'll take those. And then, I guess that's everything for this room. There's the man. Good work, Henry. All right. Thank you, sir. He's finally happy to see me. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Uh-oh. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So now we have to head over to the other castle. Oh, we never have... Uh, messed with this chest before because the guard was always standing right by the door over here. He's not, isn't he? Oh, come on. Ah. 
three torches figures. Man, that uh, that little bounty symbol is really making me nervous for whatever reason. Hands? Oh no, it's just Townsman. I was thinking he had his clothes back on by now. Is that somebody sleeping in my room? Surely not. No. It was just a pillow. God! God grant you health. How may I help you? You have a key for me? Can I ask? What's going on? Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I don't want to hand over my trophies yet. It is... Huh. Okay. Maybe I already have the keys or something. That is pretty questionable though, I will admit. Yeah, I do have the keys for some reason. Maybe it's, uh, um, Hans Capon's keys whenever we came down here to steal the wine for him. Let's re-equip this. There we go. Alright. Let's close this behind us. Just to make sure he doesn't get slipped past us or anything, you know. He's still got his sword and everything. Oh boy. This is going to be good times. Good times. I still have the Daring Debonair perk too, which is pretty good. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why yeah. do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. Oh, really? Oh, really? It's true to say I have a lot of questions. Well, there you are, then. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. Mm -hmm. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Some liberties, you say, huh? Are you questioning the authority? Do you really want to question the authority of the Margrave? I've always been loyal to the crown, but what can I do when the Margrave stole my fief? That's not why we're here. I don't care about your conflict with the Margrave. That's right. It's your crimes against the king I'm worried about. The king you say you've always been so loyal to. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Uh -huh. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. Eric, but for sure, uh, he isn't the chief. Okay. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. Hmm. Alright, how'd you find out about the crypts? How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Old friends, eh? Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. <laughs> For real. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. I see, and I then see. What? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. Not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Yeah, for real. <laughs> well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. 
Okay. Uh, in the monastery. This highly placed person at the monastery. What can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. Okay, and this Eric fellow? This Eric? You reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. Yeah, true. Crimps. You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. Oh, you yeah, said you course. gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. All right. That'll I guess do me that's for it. The moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. Uh, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. I don't want to annoy Sir Radzig. I mean, I can't accuse him of being a criminal. Technically, by the uh, money bag beside my compass, I'm a criminal. So, uh, yeah, best not to call the kettle black and all that kind of stuff. Alright. Now we gotta head back to perk sign. Oh, some of these quests are always so back and forth, I swear. Go slug near. That's right, buddy. Nope. This way. There we go. Alright, good job. Yep. Out of the way. Yep. Are you flying for Christ's sake? There's nope. people walking here. I can see perfectly well. I have a nice elevated position here. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, slight near. You there! Stop! What? Surrender. You'll hey, have you. to answer for your law breaking. I don't know what you're talking about. Got you! And now I'll fix you good and proper. You'll soon learn what justice means. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry. What are you talking because about? Because it'll take a nice pile of hey. coin to fix it. I don't know what you mean. 30 bucks? Ugh. Oh. I just can't handle it. Are you pulling my pizzle? Don't you know who I am? You better watch your step, or I'll make things so hot for you, you'll be lucky to get a job slopping out piss pots. But I was just... You... You misunderstood me. Sorry. You can go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I can't dismount here, for whatever reason. Damn! Okay. Stay away from there people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! You talking to me again? Better hold your tongue. Young man. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. That's right. <laughs> That's a perfect answer. There's some answer. foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. That's right. Why? Can't get on Can't the bad side of the we just go to the monastery church? to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. That's right. Okay, so what do we do? So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sassau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, 
So Yezhak is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. Oh, yeah. It might not be as straightforward as that. So Yezhak didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. Threat. Mm. I know Miller Simon at the Sassau Mill. There you are. Millers usually know what's going on behind the scenes. Go there and talk to him. Okay. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. That's right. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Awesome. As you command, sir. I'm not going to give that Yezhik guy any leeway. Get out of here. That was not super awkward or anything. Ah! Sorry, I'm walking here. Oh no! No! Slipping here. He fell. We're still alive though. That's good. Okay, and I only have. 900 quest markers on my map here. Well, maybe like 300. Okay, Miller Simon is up here at C. I think that's the first one that I'm going to go for. Okay. Oh yeah, he's coming you for there. me. Stop. Okay. Surrender. Surrender. Ah, cool. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hurting people like that. We won't put up with violent brutes here. Is that clear? Well, you won't hey. forget this in a hurry. Because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I guess my best one... Well, Intimidation and Charisma both. Oh, come on, my friend. You know I'm in the service of Sir Radzik Kobola, don't you? Ah, uh, I didn't... I didn't know that. My apologies. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Now get out of my way. Okay. Uh, I'm tempted to stop by and ask the quest yeah. tipster if he has anything to say, but I think we will just pass that up for right now. Let's head over and get this quest accomplished here. Good health to you. <laughs> Talking to me through the door. Fine. Fine. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. If I remember right, though, his yeah reputation isn't even all that good. Okay. Can we just do an even grant? Here. And uh, something for your trouble. Well, now. Thank you very much. That's right. Listen, have you heard of any recruiters looking for men in Sasa? Aye. And? Where can I find them? And will they speak with me? And what do you want with them? <laughs> Never mind. Listen to me carefully. Tomorrow night there will be a light in the Sasa church and the door will be open. Go in and start praying our father. And how will that help me with the recruiters? That's what the prayer's for. Just wait until the church is lit up at night. Kneel before the altar and they'll find you. Got it? Of course. And thank you for the help. The Lord will repay you. Mm hmm. For sure. Alright, so we're about to join the crypts. If you can believe that. I'm gonna have to change out my red decorated caftan for a blue one. We all know this. We ever been here before? At this camp? 
sheep running over there. How's it going, sheep? What's that? Oh. Are these murdering brutes? I mean, they only kind of look like bandits. I can't really tell from here if they are actually bandits. Just in case. Yeah. Oh yeah. They probably are bandits though. Who's there? Hey. He's coming What's out here cuz he heard my horse. Just what stand there a little while. Oh no. Tired of life, are you? Is that <laughs> the guy with the pajamas. Okay. Got him. Are you kidding me right now? Out of stamina. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Run. Flee. Flee for your life. Oh, wow. He's quick, though, to get back up. They always seem to be, though. That's for sure. I feel like I can never catch up with a guy who's taken off. Uh. Oh, man. There we go. New main level. Okay. Have we ever been here before? Rides right up on top of a bandit camp. Oh, what a stooge. Man. I should really, I should really pay better attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not invincible or anything yet. There's still a dude here who apparently had no reason to get involved. Good for him. Okay. Not sure why they had torches out. It's the uh, middle morning. Right, where is this guy gone? I don't know that he's out in the woods somewhere. Oh, here he is. What? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> There's no way he didn't see me. Success. Cool. Okay, so is that all of them? I think it is. It looks to be. Bard potion, nice. Let's do this. And distilled. Beautiful. Beautiful. Should be a cockerel. There we go. Awesome.
Oh, I hope this is right. Pretty sure it worked. Beautiful. And a new level in alchemy. Oh, good. I would love to stand around and make some more uh, potions, that's for sure. You're still laying here, Quarryman Simic? Aha. Uh -huh. It's you. Yeah, you're better. I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas oh, really? is my name. Thomas. Okay. How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. <laughs> Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your health. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. You took care of me, why wouldn't I help you? <laughs> Tit for tat, eh? What is it? That's right. Well, cool. Cool. I didn't even know that... <laughs> Man. Yo, Hanka, why aren't you watching after uh, Matthias back in Merhoyed? You big lazy fool. <coughs> See, what are we looking like? Nourishment of 73, energy of 72. Let's get one of these down. I didn't realize we already had so many. I didn't realize we had already had a batch of three. Let's eat one. And then uh, this one of these lower cheeses, 90-90. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Just for a while, he says. So if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.